my first instinct was to have an heart attack because he stopped in the middle of the road and he was back in traffic up. When I approached him, uh, he unloaded the gun and loaded it back up and snapped it shut. Four bangs there, that's, that's all we heard. And then and the neighbour told us what happened there. He says somebody down there with a the gun there. And, like he was in the car and he stopped me and said something to me and I didn't know what he said, so I said what? And then he came back up to me and said, um, he said, do you like something? But I couldn't hear what he said. And then when I turned around to look at him, he was pointing a gun in my face. So then like, I like, held onto my head and put my head down because I was scared. And then he shot, shot it. And then like, I went to, when I was running off, he shot it again. I was like dead scared and I was like crying because I thought that I was going to die and like he was going to kill me. And I didn't know what I'd done wrong for him to kill me or shout like point guns at me and that. We heard some loud bangs. Um, we just saw looked at first and then we heard some more being fired. I think there was about four shots fired. Um, I ran out the shop and I seen the guy that had been shot lying on the road. Um, and then the guy with the gun ran past me and he was just like skipping down the road, pointing his gun in the opposite direction. So we all just ran into the back of the shop and we've been hiding on the top floor since now. We've just got out. And I heard two shots go off. So I went round the corner and there's a man in his Land Rover Discovery by the Arch Hill who'd been shot twice, presumably by a shotgun. Um, and then all hell broke loose. We're trying to get the emergency service down and things like that. The doctors came down and uh, from then on it just seemed to be chaotic, you know. Somebody just asked me to hold the drip while the doctors and that came down and the guy was in a bad way. Like, I think they approached because they thought he was hurt because his car was damaged, because the tyres had come off the car um, and it was in, like, in a lay-by. And I, I think they, as they crossed the bridge, they approached him thinking he was hurt and they were going to offer him assistance. And he sort of gestured them away and said he wasn't going to hurt them, but he just didn't want them to approach. Well, they saw the gun. And they saw the gun. And so obviously then they, they did move away and carry on there.